Inside our galaxy, there are a variety of different objects, from the massive to the tiny. Perhaps one of the most interesting of these objects is the black hole. Black holes are believed to be at the centre of every known galaxy. There are massive black holes, and there are supermassive black holes. When a black hole's mass is bigger than the massive stars, they're referred to as supermassive black holes. These supermassive black holes aren't just greater in mass than the stars, they're as heavy as the sun. A group of astronomers in Hawaii and New Mexico, under the aegis of National Aeronautics and the Space Administration, discovered something mysterious with the aid of their observatory, called the Chandra X-ray. Due to the size of a supermassive black hole, it tends to blast off when it consumes more gas. This was what the team of astronomers witnessed. A galaxy known as J1354 has a black hole at the centre. This black hole is 800 million light years away from Earth. Astronomers have suggested that a passing galaxy was supplying gas to this black hole. This gas caused the black hole to blast off an outflow of energy particles. NASA's team of astronomers also noticed what they suspected as remnant emission close to the centre of galaxy J1354. This suggested that there had been a black hole event in that same spot nearly a million years ago. Researchers believe that these are the type of emissions that occur from a black hole feasting event, and since the remnants were found near the middle of the galaxy, they serve as proof of the event. Researchers were convinced that they had just witnessed this particular black hole having two separate feeding episodes. It feasted on gas, burped and napped, and then it repeated these events once more in the same sequence. The researchers considered it very fortunate that they were able to observe the galaxy during the time when these events could still be clearly seen and proven. The mind-boggling question the scientists had to answer was why the supermassive black hole had two separate meals which were at least 100,000 years apart, an event which is very rare and seemed beyond logic. But one of the astronomers was able to give a possible answer. The explanation that was given was based on the fact that the galaxy J1354 has a neighbouring galaxy that is connected to it through a flow of gas and stars. As a result of the connection between these two galaxies, materials from the other galaxy got pulled into the middle of J1354. This material was then fed to the black hole as its second meal, which resulted in the follow-up sequence. Another amazing space discovery is Holmberg 15a a supergiant elliptical galaxy found 700 million light years away from Earth. This galaxy is regarded as the most dominant galaxy at the centre of the Abel 85 galaxy. This supergiant galaxy was first discovered in 1937 by a man named Eric Holmberg and was thus named after him. Eric was a Swedish scientist and astronomer. He is widely known for his works which centred on the interactions between different galaxies. He theorised that when galaxies come into close contact and interact with one another, such galaxies are likely to combine and form a much larger galaxy. Holmberg's discovery of the supergiant galaxy, now known as Holmberg 15a, is one of his most famous discoveries to date and one that would help researchers in future years. The galaxy was quite popular at the time, and this was because it was said to have the largest core ever seen in any galaxy. However, this theory was refuted later on. Still, Holmberg 15a's core was estimated to span as far as 15,000 light years. Secondly, this massive galaxy served as a host to one of the biggest supermassive black holes ever discovered in any galaxy. This supermassive black hole was assumed to be more than 300 billion times the mass of the Sun. This measurement was faulted as it was thought to be far too big. Since the initial measurements weren't exactly accurate and based on further researchers, scientists have concluded that the initial measurements were massively overstated. With that being said, this supermassive black hole is still believed to be over 40 billion times the mass of our Sun. This new measurement was more acceptable and considered to be far more accurate than the former. It's hard for us to wrap our heads around these massive sizes. This has made supermassive black holes a very interesting topic of observation for scientists. The black hole which was found at the centre of Holmberg 15a might be even larger than astronomers have come to believe. 
Although this black hole is not the biggest supermassive black hole that has been discovered, it's certainly amongst the biggest. This black hole is believed to have been a result of the combination of two black holes, which has led scientists to the possibility that Holmberg 15a may be a result of two galaxies that came into proximity and merged into a supermassive giant galaxy. This black hole is believed to have been a result of the combination of two black holes, which has led scientists to the possibility that Holmberg 15a may be a result of two galaxies that came into proximity and merged into a supermassive giant galaxy. Scientists are still researching and trying to investigate the true facts behind this supermassive black hole, which they believe will also provide answers as to the true nature of the Holmberg 15a. Further study will give us more insight into the nature of these massive galaxies and the matter they're able to hold. Another interesting discovery is that of IC1101. This galaxy has the title of being the universe's biggest galaxy. This galaxy is a supergiant elliptical galaxy and can be found at the centre of the Abel 2029 galaxy cluster. It has a distance of more than 1 billion light years from Earth. It's also characterised as the brightest galaxy in the Abel 2029 cluster galaxy. Viewed from Earth, the galaxy is visible from its broad dimensions, although astronomers are of the opinion that the galaxy is in fact shaped like a flat disk. Although IC1101 is generally believed to be the biggest galaxy in the known universe, there are a lot of reasonable debates as to how accurately such a galaxy should be measured. Nonetheless, the halo of the galaxy is said to reach out to about 2 million light years from its core, which is approximately 600 kiloparsecs. The mass is measured to be of about the same size as 100 trillion stars, and the galaxy is presumed to host most of these stars. The massive galaxy was first discovered on the 19th of June, 1790, by Frederick William. William was a German-born British astronomer, who after completing his first large telescope in the year 1774, went ahead to study and carry out sky surveys. During one of his surveys, he noticed a new object in the constellation of Gemini. He first thought of it as a cluster of stars, but after weeks of verification and consultations with other astronomers, was later confirmed to be that of a massive galaxy. After its discovery, IC1101 was analysed and discovered to be one of the independent galaxies. Researchers and scientists have said that it's managed to get to this size by merging with other galaxies. The last discovery is that of a mysterious diamond planet. Resting a short 40 light years away from our planet appears to be the largest mass of diamonds ever to exist. Known as 55 Cancri E, there rests a planet made almost entirely out of diamonds that is expected to be roughly 8 times the collective mass of our planet Earth. Unfortunately, if you planned on mining the planet to father its precious gems, you would find the entire planet to be so hostile that it's most likely almost entirely covered in lava. The planet is expected to be tidally locked, which means that there rests a permanent day side and a permanent night side, as there's no rotation to create a day and night cycle. This leaves the day side of the planet to be more than 1,700 degrees Celsius in temperature, a temperature more than hot enough to turn iron into a liquid. Its gravity works out to be more than eight times that of Earth's gravity, and the large amount of data concerning surface temperature variations have been connected to a large amount of possible volcanic activity. This releases large clouds of dust that can plunge whole areas of the planet into darkness. If that doesn't make mining operations seem near impossible, the orbit of the planet around the sun takes less than 18 hours to complete. This means that an entire year on 55 Cancri E is less than a single day on Earth making landing and launching to and from the planet nearly impossible to maintain. So what do you make of these interesting space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community whilst working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.